Hey guys, welcome to my channel Automate Innovation. Today we are going to learn about inheritance in Java. So this is my fifth tutorial in Java. So thanks for watching. So let's get started with inheritance. So guys, what is uh, inheritance in Java? So this is one of the very much important concept of oops. So inheritance means that one object, let's say has got some attributes. It has got some characteristics, right? Now, if we would like that the other object should also get the attributes inherited or let's say taken from that other object, then that concept is called as inheritance. So let's say, for example, in a generic life, lifetime example, right? We are saying that one person is inheriting the property from another person. So likewise, one object is acquiring the properties or attributes or characteristics of another person. So that concept is called as inheritance in Java. Now compared to C++, what is that Java offers something different and what does it doesn't offer? So we need to understand the difference between the two. C++, we did had single inheritance, we had multiple inheritance, we had multi-level, we had hierarchical and so on, right? We had so many types of inheritance in C++. Java does support the similar way, but only one inheritance not supported in Java is going to be multiple inheritance. Means not directly, we cannot support it cannot support multiple inheritance directly, but instead it can do it through, but possible through interfaces. So interfaces concept, we'll see if we can cover in this session, but for now the primary objective is to understand inheritance in Java. So let's take an example. So this is the lesson by inheritance in Java. I've taken a class, okay? And I'm just going to create an object of this class here. Now let's create another class in the same package. We need not have any main method for that. Right. So I have a getter method here. Actually, it's not even a getter method, just like a method name is get a. So getter and setter and all that we will see in our next session. So this method is returning value of a. That's all about this class. It's not having anything else much here. And what do we have in this class? We don't have anything yet. So let's just say int p equal to 20. And let's say void set b. So remember guys, we have learned about this pointer concept. So this pointer means that this object is indicating. So that attribute we are trying to set to some value. So example, this dot B, if I say that means the object which has invoked this method for that variable attribute B, we are setting up a value as B, the parameter passed, right? So this dot B equal to B. Now we'll just try to do this up. So since this is not, um, you know, something that we are not aware of, so it's a very simple and straightforward. I'm directly just accessing the value of variable B through object. Now the next concept which we want to learn is what is inheritance and what is the syntax, right? So I have a class two in my same package as my lesson five. So let's just use now the keyword and syntax for inheritance. So the syntax for inheritance is extends keyword. When we say class extends another class, we say this is going to be your derived class or your subclass or your child class and which class is getting inherited will be your super class. So here my super class or parent class is class two and this is my subclass. So what happens is that whatever public protected right and default ones are there, they get inherited to your derived class, but the default ones will be inherited only if your both the classes are in the same package. So since my both the classes are in the same package, you would notice that here in class two, I, you know, I don't have any other type of uh, access modifier. So let's just explain the concept of access modifier as well, since now we are talking about inheritance here. So access modifiers are of four kinds. So let's just quickly go through that. Okay. So access modifiers are four kinds. 
so this will be my first part of my inheritance session so the first one is default other one is private next is protected and the last one is public so default means within the same package if both the classes are there then through inheritance it can get that default attribute inherited so in class 2 if you see int a is a default attribute it doesn't have any access modifier mentioned before it but if i say private int d equal to 20 then this is a private attribute so this will not be inherited by your lesson 5 inheritance even though it is extending because it is private and it cannot be inherited next one is protected protected means that protected will be inherited be it in the same package or be it in a different package so so d1 should be inherited by your lesson 5 inheritance and the next one is public so if i say public double f equal to 10.0 right so now let's just see what values get printed so here we'll just create one more method void this and we'll try to display the values right so i have a this method here so what should happen is that except for the private all the three should be inherited by the lesson 5 inheritance in java class and it should also inherit these two methods as well let's just have another method which is private let's say private void set d and let's say in d right so private means it's private to this particular class so it could be variables like the instance variables or it could be method which can be private so that also can have access modifier so we'll say this dot d equal to d so this is actually known as setter method in java so we will see this in the next session in detail getter and setter methods for java so now what should happen let's just have a look okay so now we are going to call the disk function so this is getting shown here because it is if you see here object dot let's see what all things are coming from class 2 d1 is coming from class 2 because it is not private f is coming from class 2 again because it's not private similarly if a is coming from class 2 and disp is coming because these are not private yet if you notice here that private variants were d and set d and this has not been shown in your dot operator so that indicates that this cannot be access set b is of lesson 5 set d is not accessible so let's just go ahead and run this program now as you can see it has got the values of a d1 and f along with the instance variable b so that covers the inheritance simple inheritance concept so in the next session i'll be covering how do we have multiple inheritance in java or how do we have multi level inheritance in java so stay tuned for that video thank you so much